Oh. Oh. Fortunate there. That got in the groan, or either that or Overbay got him. And immediately, Overbay looks into the Reds dugout and says, Come out here. This may have bounced up and hit him in the face. Oh, hit him in the back of the back of the neck. Back of the head. Well, that's where he doesn't have a cover on the ear on that side. And it hit him right in the side of the head. That's why Major League Baseball is really continuing to push wearing flaps on both ears rather than a single flap, depending, of course, which side of the plate you hit from. It does give you more protection, but how many times have you seen this? This is the first time I've ever seen it. Yeah, but you know what they say. Somebody's number one. Or the one that you'll always talk yeah. about. Yeah. Thank God it doesn't look like that's the case here. But, I mean, you wear one ear flap, what's the difference if you're wearing another ear flap? You're right. Just put it on and move on. Christopher looks like he's okay. I mean, if Negron goes down, the Reds are essentially out of infielders. Yeah, and this is where, uh, you know, Brian Price was asked, you may remember, very early in the year. For all I know, it might have been uh, Jim Day who asked him about it, but if you had to, would you put Billy Hamilton back in the infield mm -hmm. in the game? He said, well, of course, if I had to, that's exactly what I'd do. Right. Now, fortunately, that does not look like it's going to happen. 